NBC News has obtained exclusive video of George Zimmerman walking handcuffed when after he shot Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman says that he was attacked, but the video doesn't show any visible signs of injury. The shooting continues to spark outrage since the neighborhood watch captain has not been charged and Martin was unarmed. ABC's TJ Winnett has the very latest. It is our first look at George Zimmerman after he shot and killed Trayvon Martin, led into the Sanford Police Department in handcuffs. In the four-minute surveillance video obtained exclusively by ABC News, Zimmerman does not appear to have the head injuries he claims he suffered when Trayvon attacked him. This is effectively disproving what Zimmerman is saying. So uh, if the grand jury has an investigative grand jury, uh, probably we'll get to see something like this. this is my Here's a hell of a story, a heck of a story. ABC News doctors the video to hide Zimmerman's wound. You know the racially charged case in Florida. You know that the street thug Al Sharpton is calling for violence. You know that Al Sharpton should be arrested for inciting violence. You know that Al Sharpton should have been fired from MSNBC before he was hired. But you also know that the vermin at MSNBC, like Phil, Phil whatever his name is, I forget his name, and the owner of NBC, which is General Electric, want Al Sharpton there so he doesn't attack them for not paying taxes. You understand how that works, don't you? ABC News Dr. Zimmerman video to peddle false story in Traven Martin case. Did you hear what I just said? They claim that Zimmerman had no injuries, but it turns out they blatantly lied about what the video showed. They hid it. They hit it with something over it. They put a screenshot over it to hide the lacerations on Zimmer Zimmerman's head. This is very disgusting. They placed a graphic to cover up the back of Zimmerman's head for their broadcast. They want the streets to run with blood. ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN are inciting violence. They want violence. They want another Watts. They want a city to burn because whatever burns earns. If it bleeds, it leads. If we had a legitimate government that understood this, they wouldn't be in business. ABC News doctored the video to sell a false narrative about the Trayvon Martin killing, in my opinion. And they're branding a man who may or may not be innocent, a murderer without a trial. Race-baiting demagogues like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson are feverishly trying to exploit the recent killing of a young black man in Florida for their own selfish agenda to boost their fading relevance. Typically, they have jumped to conclusions before all the actual facts have been uncovered. Sharpton and Jackson are once again inciting racial violence by calling the killing of a black teenager, Trayvon Martin, a bias crime, because the shoot shooter, George Zimmerman, who was first purported to be a white man, is actually a Hispanic from a biracial family. But why let a little thing like the truth stop Sharptongue and Jackson from provoking a mob? Where is Attorney General Eric Holder? to protect this man's civil rights. You're going to expect the man who ran guns to Mexico, the man who protected the Black Panthers to protect an innocent man? Are you crazy?